Hello guys! Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa Kite Ano nga ba ang kite? It is a quadrilateral with two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides Let us consider Kite S-P-A-Y The first pair of adjacent congruent sides are segment SY and segment ST. And segment SY is congruent to segment ST. Lagyan natin ang markings na ang ibig sabihin, ang sukat ng segment SY ay equal sa sukat ng segment ST. Second pair of adjacent congruent sides are segment AY and segment AT. And you can say that Segment AY is congruent to segment AT. Now, lagyan natin ang markings. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, kung ano ang measure ni segment AY, yun din ang measure ni segment AT. Theorem number 1 of a kite. The diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. Let us see. Kite S P A Y. We have diagonal S A and diagonal Y T. According to theorem number one, segment S A is perpendicular to segment A T. We use the symbol for perpendicular, the inverted T, to compare the two segments. Ang ibig sabihin niya may mapoform na 90 degrees sa point of intersection ng diagonals. At ang ibig sabihin din yan, meron tayong 4 right triangles. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next theorem, the area of a kite is half the product of the length of its diagonals. Again, we have kite S P A Y with diagonal S A and diagonal Y T. The area of a kite is equals to one half the product of B sub one times B sub two. Ibig sabihin ng B sub one first diagonal, ang B sub two ay second diagonal. In this case, ang formula ng area ng kite S P A Y is equals to one half the product na measure ng segment SA and segment YP. Let's try this. Given kite SPAY, segment SA and segment YP are diagonals. They intersect at point P. Number one. If segment SY equals 8 centimeters, find segment ST. Ano sa tingin niyo ang sagot? Tama! Segment ST is also 8 centimeters. Remember, dalawang magkasunod na sides ng kite ay congruent. Segment SY and segment ST are congruent. Number 2. If segment AY is 12 cm, find the measure of segment AT. Ano ang sagot? Tama! Segment AT is equals to 12 cm. Number 3. If segment SY equals 5x minus 4 and segment SP equals 2x plus 2, Letter A, find the value of X. Analyze natin yung given. Ang segment SY at saka segment ST, they are adjacent congruent sides. Therefore, segment SY is congruent or equal to segment ST. Substitute lang natin ang values na given. We have 5X minus 4 and 2X plus 2. Combining like terms, we have 5x minus 2x equals 2 plus 4. Simplify, 
we have 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by 3, so x is equals to 2. Letter B. Find the measure of segment SY. So, ang dalawang kailangan natin gawin? Kunin lang natin yung given. Segment SY equals 5x minus 4. At gamitin natin ang value ng x na nasolve natin kanina, which is x is equals to 2. And then, substitute the value of x. So, we have now 5 times 2 minus 4. 5 times 2 is 10. So, 10 minus 4 is equals to 6. Therefore, the measure of segment SY is equals to 6. Number 5. If the area of kite SPAY is 208 cm squared and segment SA is 26 cm, find YP. So, ang given I area at given ang first diagonal, ang hinahanap natin yung measure ng isa pang diagonal. So, anong kailangan gawin? Let us use the formula to find the area of a kite. We have 1 half times the product of the two diagonals. Substitute lang natin yung given. The area of a kite is 208 equals 1 half times the first diagonal is 26 times the second diagonal which is segment YD. Cross multiply lang natin itong dalawa, 208 times 2 which is 416 equals 26 times YT. Then divide both sides by 26, we have 16 centimeters. Therefore, segment YT is equals to 16 centimeters. And that's all. Thank you for listening.